Meantime, the governor has been busy with also giving his annual State of the State address. Week News investigative reporter Celine MacArthur tells us the governor's message to Floridians. Governor DeSantis returned to the state capitol from Iowa to challenge lawmakers to build upon their accomplishments from 2023. 2024 is going to be a banner year for the free state of Florida. The governor opened his state of the state with a simple thank you to lawmakers for working with him to make Florida the envy of the nation, that the great migration is for good reason. States like California and New York and Illinois are driving people away. These failures are not the result of chance. They are the result of choices made by elected officials to put ideology over sound policy. In this time for choosing, the state of Florida has chosen well. Our choices have produced results that are second to none in this country. Ron DeSantis was quick to declare Florida number one for business, crime, education, parental rights, and small but efficient government. In New York City, there's a famous debt clock that shows the national debt going up in real, real time. I'd like to see one of those made for Florida's debt. Only a Florida debt clock would be counting down, not up, because we have paid down nearly 25 percent of our state's debt over the past four years. Imagine that. But in Democratic response, State Senator Lauren Book and State Representative Fentress Driscoll called out the governor for what he glazed over or didn't mention at all. Florida's cost of living and property insurance crisis. Our state cannot remain strong and grow if so many families are struggling just to find and keep a place to call home. There's not enough good housing for people, so home and rental prices are unaffordable. We were elected to do the people's work, and yours is the interest we proudly serve. But the urgency is paramount. Floridians are not merely asking, but begging for help. Democrats also accused DeSantis of being out of touch with Floridians because he's spending so much time running for president. Now, DeSantis did not mention his campaign during today's speech, and when it was over, he bolted. He did not provide us any opportunity to ask him any questions. He did offer an update on the storm from the nearby Emergency Operations Center before heading back to Iowa for the caucuses on Monday. In Tallahassee, I'm your investigative reporter, Celine MacArthur. Wink news.